So here we are in the latest release for Walkabout Mini Golf, which is the fantastic license course of Jim Henson's Labyrinth. As with all courses, we have an easy and a hard course, and on the easy course there are 18 lost balls to find. So let's get started, as ever, with hole number one. For our first ball, you want to turn back from the tee box and look towards the bedroom that is the beginning of this course. And just underneath the crib, next to the teddy bear, is our very first ball. Next up on hole number two, we want to make our way over towards where Hoggle is spraying the fairies and we can see this wide open door. So go just beyond Hoggle and behind the far door is our second ball. For hole number three we are heading down towards the flag area and we'll speed this bit up. Say hello to the worm while you're there. And you want to go just beyond the end of this hole, bless you. And there is a rock at the back here. And just behind the rock is our neatly camouflaged ball. For hole number four, we want to follow the signs towards the flag. Maybe don't pay too much attention to the arrows on the stones. And at the very end there is this monument of hands and one of the hands is holding our next ball. Next we have hole number five and this is the four guards hole. So we want to head over towards the red guard on the left as we look at him and down by his foot is the red guard ball. Into the Tunnel of Helping Hands, we want to make our way down right to the very end of the hole. And just one step down towards the next hole is the Blue Guard Ball. Hole number seven is the Head Statues Hole, and we want to head up towards the higher tier where the flag is and if we turn to the right there's this little area and the ball is down there in the corner and that is the owl ball. For hole number eight we want to take the rather safe route to the left of this death trap and as we come around the corner we can see these two figures who are cranking it. They are standing on top of the trailer and if you go to the far side of it and look back inside there is ball number eight. So the last ball of the first half is on this sundial hole. And this one's quite simple to find. You simply turn back and to the right at the tee and underneath this little table that houses the urn is the leaf ball. Number 10 is another greatly themed ball. We've got Ludo suspended up there and these little nippers. And if you turn to the left, down by this tree is the nipper ball. Number 11, again, you don't need to go too far for this one. Just turn to the right from the tee box and there is a tree with a little plant in front of it. And down in there is the fiery ball. Number 12 is, uh, well, an interesting hole. Fun fact, uh, Edward, one of the course designers, provided all the sound effects for this one. Don't forget to play fetch while you're here. And just inside this tree stump is the peach ball. Number 13, we have this huge gatekeeper statue. So you want to make your way safely to the other side of him. So when you avoid the axe on the way through, there is this little stand of weapons 
and just in the gap between the buildings next to it is what I think is the Junk Lady Ball. Ball number 14 is one of the more tricky ones to find because there's such a big area to look at in this town centre. So head over towards the chicken and there are steps leading up which you can walk up or teleport up. And when you get to the top in this window ledge is the 14th ball. Number 15 sees the return of Ludo, this time he's up in the chimney. Make your way to the very first gap that you reach on your left and just in those wooden beams is the Ludo ball. Which you may or may not know you can now have as an avatar head. Number 16, we are into the clock hole and this is one of the, probably the hardest ball to find on the course. Head over towards this brown chicken, give him a pat. Turn to the left and there's this dark urn and just tucked behind it. It's really tricky to see if you don't know it's there. Here's a lovely labyrinth theme ball. Number 17 is the incredible Escher room. So we have Toby walking upside down there and he is the theme of the ball on this hole. So what you want to do is turn back from the tee and walk down the upstairs or up the downstairs and then look up or down and there is the Toby ball. Finally we have the incredible hole number 18. So there's a lot to explore so quite forgivable if this takes you a while to find and if you're here for help. Make your way down these levels on the hold and because it's not so easy to find your bearings when we get to the ball I'll show you how to make sure you're lined up with where the ball is. So it's on this final tier down here and there's a gap and if you look you can see the ball there in line with the hole and that statue is the final ball which is the clock ball which I think is my favourite design from this course. So there we have it, that's all 18 balls for the brand new Labyrinth course, which is just spectacular. I hope you've had a chance to play through this course as well by now and see that this really is one of the very best they've released. And of course, take yourself back to the shack and you'll see all 18 balls come through. So if you found this video helpful, please do leave a like. Uh, if you've got a new favorite ball, I particularly like that clock ball from hole number 18, drop me a comment below. And if you want to stay informed of all future content, please do subscribe to the channel, it's a tremendous help. So thanks again for watching and hopefully see you out on the course soon.